So in Svelte we can use slots to compose components, meaning our components can contain other components and elements to be more reusable. So in this example we have a button that has a span child and has a text of child. So the slot element lets us do that with components. If you're familiar with React, this is similar to the children prop and Vue also has a concept of slots. So we can look at an example. So if we go to the Svelte repo, we can create a button component. We can create the button element itself. And we can give it a slot. We can specify a placeholder. And let's give it some styles. We can say button, color teal. And now we go back to app.svelte. And we can import our button. First, let's create a script tag. We can say import button from button.svelte. And then we can use it. So when I complete the button, we're going to get our placeholder because we haven't specified anything. So we can say span or whatever we want. We can say child. And that's awesome. I want to show you name slots next to have more control over the placement of elements. And let's modify our button component. So instead of this, we're going to have slot again, but we're going to say the name icon. And then we're also going to specify text area and that's it so we can go back to app.svelte we can remove this we can say span and then we specify the slot so for example we want our icon here and let's just copy over the icon you can say span slot next is going to be text we can say add for that and then we can copy and reuse the component and we can copy this beautiful emoji say delete for example. So you might be asking yourself when you do slots over regular components and the answer might be not often and that's fine. But I want to show you a real world example using slots in composition so you can wrap your head around it more. The example is going to be Svelte Cube that's a wrapper around FreeJS which is a 3D library for JavaScript. So if you look at this example this is using slots in composition so you can write code in a more declarative way. So you can see there are like one, two, three, four, five, six lines of code maybe, if we ignore the script tag. So let's look at the equivalent imperative JavaScript code. So this is the same code. This is awesome, right? So you can use slots to wrap libraries like this and make it easier to write code because it's more declarative. 